Good morning, fishing freaks. I'm here. I'm back on Toledo Bend with some friends. I got Carter. And I got Chris with Duff Outdoors. I met those guys at the Elite Series tournament. When was that? In April. And we're here with Living the Dream Guide Service. Got Matt. How's it going? And we're gonna go do some fishing today on Toledo because it's, I think, the number one bass lake. In oh, Texas, yeah. for sure, maybe two years running. Two years running, um, one of the best lakes around. So let's go see if we can catch. We got two boats out here today. Got Mr. Chris. He's in that boat with Mr. JT. They're calling that the old fart boat right there. That's B boat. I guess we'll be A boat. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna go straight for the shaky head. Got a little red bug shaky head here, guys. I think this is a 3 8 ounce head. And I'm throwing this on a brand brand new rod I haven't used yet. Uh, this is the new GLX 842 MBR. I've got it on 15 pound fluorocarbon leader, the 50 pound braided line, main line. Oh, there we go. I got one. Oh, I missed him. They are biting now. Get him. There we go. Carter's, Carter's hooked up. You got a double here. There we go. Look at that. He wanted it. Hey, you know what? I'm, I think I'm next, man. I don't want to say anything until I get him in the boat. There we go, guys. Broke the ice on the old Harold Allen special. Little uh, red bug worm. Throwing June bug and red bug worms. And uh, I think that's our eighth fish. Yeah. There we go. Beautiful. That a boy. That's a good one. Good job, brother. Nicely done. Give me a fist pump on that one. Oh yeah. Nice. A good one right there. It is, buddy. Carter's got another one. Red bug worm, man. He's throwing a Texas rig. There we go. Look at that healthy, healthy fish. Another clone. Not as big as Carter's. But I'll take him. I could feel my shaky head kind of coming up over something, and then I dropped it on the other side, and then boop. All right, we did good on this hole. Now we're gonna go check another spot. Carter coming through with the big, the big in. Good job, brother. So far, we need to beat that one. All right, I like your attitude, man. All right, got me drop shot. This has been dubbed the Herald Worm. See if I can drop one on them. I was literally shaking it like a salt shaker. And there we go. Nice. Got them fired up. Matt's hooked up now. First drop shot fish right there. Yeah, I saw a couple little groups. That's the problem though, once you hook them, you kind of pull the school. Right. If you don't keep a bait right in that spot, keep them going. That's why I was telling you, Carter, to get right in there, because if you keep a bait there and keep them going, most of the time you can get them. You got him. Yep. Uh-oh. He's going towards the buoy. Well, I'm just clearing these out of the way for you guys. <laughs> just doing my duty with the drop shot. All right. Literally just letting it sit there in place and shaking it. Like a girl in a rap song. All right, heading out to hole two, three. Yeah, this is gonna be three. Yeehaw! You gotta hit them just right. Problem is, at the end of summer, these fish have been hit all summer long and they just get, they just get dabbled with. They get a little finicky. So all we're doing is throwing, we're throwing the Harold Allen special, which is the worm. Specifically, in particular, 
purple and red worms. It's all about the purple worm out here on this deep stuff. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that, guys. There's these bugs. They're love bugs, I suppose. They're everywhere. I'm talking everywhere we've been, all over the place. There's millions of them. Get up all up, all up in your grill, you're running down the lake, they're hitting you in the face, and oh, you want to talk about covering an outboard with nasty bugs? Yeah, I don't know where these come from. Is this the worst you've ever seen it out here, Matt? This is the worst I've ever seen it. Like, it's terrible. Why do these things exist? They stink. It, they stink. I don't even think they anything eats them. They get all up in your leg hair. They just they get all up in your leg hair, and they're really annoying. That's about all they do. Anyway, just thought I'd vent because they've been annoying me all day. There he is. Broke the ice. Oh, yeah. Icebreaker. Number 15 on the Red Herald. Just another one of those Toledo Tuskies. Down to my last two Red Herald worms. Folks, don't leave home without your little red trick worms and June, wor June bug. It's all about the purple. It's like Harry Potter up there. <laughs> and guess what, everybody? You might have thought that he was throwing green pumpkin or maybe some watermelon red. No. Purple. Nope, it's purple. And I got one. I got one on. I almost fell. Recovered. Up. Oh, Yahtzee! Got the got the old little wand moving here. Solid chunk. See ya. Oh, the D bag hat is out. The D bag hat. Come on, man. D-bag hat and a drop shot? You, you, might, you might as well call yourself Aaron Martins right now. <laughs> I look like him, man. Purple worm, robo worm? Fairy wand, I might as well. I mean, dude, you even got the Probably robo. The park, right? Double trip? Well, I had to buy it, but it didn't. I know. I've ruined it. Look at the fatness on that thing. Yeah, you think they're eating down there a little the bit? The tail is... That's, that's an obese tail. Yeah, I think we're averaging like one worm. Oh! Double up. Nice. Yeah. Nice. I told you we'd double up right there. Just came off right at the end. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Look at that chunk. Football. Guys, these love bugs, they're all over my camera. All over Matt right now. Just swarms on the boat. It's terrible. There they go. go. Look at them go. Oh man, guys. Wow. They're going to town. Carter, are you excited right now? Look at you just riding him back. Ski him in on. Maybe one, two, right? Oh my gosh. Dude, that was a five pounder just came out of the water. Really Not kidding. On the other side of the bridge? Yes. Well, let's go there. I mean, that was a oh that was a big God. one. Clear out of the water. You got one? You got nice one? 31. One of them five pounders I saw jumping down the water, maybe. Oh, oh, dang it. Did he come off? Yeah. Dad gum it. Oh, did you you got a, you got um you got my rover in your that, before, that does yeah. not sound great. You got it? Yep. There he is. Alright. Nice. He ate that sucker. Wow. 
Carter got one. A rig hookup. There we go. Carter clawed one up. The old bear claw. Look at that, guys. Look at that. They're like flying out of the water right here while I'm hung up on a stump. The A rig slayer over here. Oh, oh, I got him as soon as it hit the water. 41. That's it. This is this is George W. right here, folks. Got him on the old Arashi square bill. There he is. Oh, dude, same thing. Same deal. Same deal. Get him! Dude, I was popping it. They all go one, two, three, bite. Boom, 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 boom on this little creek channel bend in the back of the creek. Uh, we popped off about five real quick, only landed a couple. But uh, we are up to, what is it now, 43 fish? 43. 43 bass in one day, folks. That's not bad. We're gonna try, We've that's now kind of pushed us to where we're like, we gotta get 50. So we're gonna go try to get 50 just to say that, put that on the brag board. So we're gonna see, that's the new challenge get 50 bass in one day on one of the best la bass lakes in the country to lead a bit. It's about to be on 50 bass in one day. Here we come. Good one. Big It's all right. 45 bass right there, folks. We are not playing around. Got that one. Okay, you got 46, folks. That was like back to back. Bam, bam. Thank you, Sam. Got to change to the secret bait. Bass love a little bait ball when they're schooling. Bait balls. Get your bait balls. Oh, yes. First cast on the bait ball. 48 now. Not the biggest one ever, but he's a number. Oh God, that one's got a little, little juiciness to it. Oh, it's a drummer. Oh man. He's a little juicy. Woo, got me an old gas for goo. I'm gonna tell you what, they sure do hit it hard. There we go. Is that 50? That's, that's 49. Oh, 49, that's right. 49. That's number 50. Yeah! <laughs> Never give number up. Number 50. <laughs> Woo! Winning fish right there, baby. Nice. Number 50. Carter cracks it open. Number 50. Yeah! <laughs> Tell us how it went down. Well, I took my Alabama rig and I Threw it out there, let it sink to the bottom. Started reeling it slow and he just slammed it. Got him in the boat, that's number 50. I'd like to thank my parents and everyone who supports me and my teachers for letting me get out of school. So uh, thank you for this experience and it's been a great day. <laughs> yeah, and I think we're good guys. I think that wraps it up. Awesome, 50 Wait, whoa, fish in whoa, one day. Right they're right blowing here. up, oh, they're blowing up one more time right here. You never can resist a blowing up fish. It's just, it's scientifically proven. That's me. Living the dream guide service. Toledo Bend, 50 bass a day right now. LTD, every day. LTD. That's how we do it. LFG, <laughs> it's eight good. days a week. <laughs> <laughs> All right, coming in from our 50 bass day out here on Toledo Bend Reservoir. A totally different experience than what I did last time out here, shallow water kayak fishing. Today it was all about schooling bass and deep water fishing and we got to do that with Mr. Matt with Living the Dream Guide Service and Mr. JT over here. And we had Duff Outdoors with us. Guys, just wrecking it up today. If I had to sum it up, I would say school and fish. And make sure you don't leave the house without some purple worms because that was going off today. The purple worms killed it out on that deep water. Finally got up to school and fish and got a 50 bass day. What did you guys think about it? How would you sum up today? Man, awesome late summer, early fall day on Toledo Bend. Living the dream. That's Living how it's summed up. Baby. Living the dream.
<laughs> Carter, what did you think, man? Did you have a good time? Today? I had a great time. You know, Purple Worms was the big key today, and just the school and bass at the end was a great, fun way. We went from deep to shallow, and I just had a ball today, so enjoyed it. Perfect way to end the day out here. Hey, if you want to check out Living the Dream Guide Service, go to their website, and uh, if you want to come have a first-class experience, go check them out. Also, go subscribe to my boys over here at Duff Outdoors and check out the video links in the end of this video or the, in the description below and we'll catch you guys next time. That's a pig. That's my PB. All right guys, here we go. First one of the day. Yes, sir. I'm taking. Oh my God. Oh my god, this is a giant. Oh, four pounder. That's a four pounder. Oh my gosh. Run it! Oh my god, look at that, baby! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs>